Okay, I've just bumped into Mr. Jason Little, um, who's going to play a few shows at South by Southwest. We're on Red River Street. I think so. Yeah. Um, how's everything going? Because you're a, you're a solo artist now. You used to be in Granddaddy, but now you're a solo artist, aren't you? Yeah. Um, it's going pretty good. I like the freedom. You know? No, I don't know. I. Uh, it's going good. It's still an experiment. So. Yeah. We'll see. How is it different doing solo stuff to um, Granddaddy? Because you used to be a principal songwriter there, didn't you? Uh, um, that part of it's that part of it's kind of the same. Um, I think the main thing is it's just you know not having uh, four girlfriends to lug around with me all the time. You know? Now I have time to maybe get like a real normal girlfriend. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. It's. It, like I said, it's still pretty new, so I'm deciding whether or not it was or wasn't a good idea. You know, so. so why did Granddaddy split, man? You broke so many hearts. It, it just, it was on the verge of maybe turning into something sort of sad. I mean, not sad as in, you know, a sad song, but sad as in actually pathetic. So, uh, so I think I think we had, we had pretty much maxed out our, our time limit. We kind of wanted to get out while the getting was still good, or hadn't gotten too not good. Yeah, the last album you did was great, though. Uh, yeah, I liked it. I don't know. A lot of people didn't like it. But whatever. <laughs> okay, cool. So is this like um, you know you're saying it was a, it, it's a bit of an experiment at the moment being a solo artist? You're just taking things as it comes, or? Well, it's a it's a lot it's a lot more scaled down, and I've managed to there's a lot more accountability. You know, I'm not, I still see where things start, where things end, and it's easier for, for my simple mind to kind of wrap my head around things, you know, and I'm kind of, I'm trying to, if anything, I'm doing it in a more scaled back manner, and I'm not letting certain, certain situations, I don't know, it just got a bit out of hand yeah. in a few different categories. So, so you mean you sort of, you, you like being in charge and doing things on your own a bit more then? Well, Kind of. I mean, that sounds kind of weird, but I'm, I'm actually, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit of a loner, you know, and I've always been like that. And it was actually a great exercise for me to, to do all that stuff and be around people all the time, because I got better at being around lots of people, but, but then eventually I realized that I think I operate at my best when I'm, when I'm kind of, when I can just, you know, get out on my own accord. Do you, do you still hang out with the guys? Yeah, most definitely. Actually, Aaron, my old drummer, is, is still playing with me, so... And geographically, I'm far enough away from them now that we're, you know, I don't bump into anybody. But then I don't bump into a lot of people, so that's fine. MSN Messenger. What's that? MSN Messenger. Who's that? M uh, no, no, <laughs> no way. It doesn't make it. It doesn't quite make it over the mountain passes where I live. Right now. <laughs> okay. So I have to throw up a couple of towers. And, and finally, how's your South by experience been so far in 2009? Uh, it looks great. I'm a, I'm actually, I haven't quite, I haven't quite, I'm still in um, culture shock mode. Uh, we, I, we, I actually drove here from Montana, which is maybe, I don't know, 1,500 miles, and I saw lots of open spaces and desert and mountains, so when we rolled into Austin, this was a bit much, so I'm, I'm still a, a bit shaken. Sadly, I'll probably be used to it in another, in another eight hours or so and then I'll be just like all these other idiots wandering around the streets bumping into things. Okay, well we'll see how that goes. Well thank you very much so. Yeah.